Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to remotely debug an MVTech Halkin machine vision application, seen here running on a Raspberry Pi embedded computer. This application, which counts the number of pips on each die, uses Halkin's HDEF Engine library. HDEF Engine enables an HDevelop procedure to be interpreted and executed live within a C++, C Sharp, or .NET application. We access the Raspberry Pi using a network connection. In this example, we use Windows Remote Desktop Connection and XRDP. Using a terminal, we execute this script to set some environment variables. Then, we can run the executable program, which is supposed to count the pips on these dice. According to the text output, there are two dice visible, which is correct. However, the number of pips is unrealistically high sometimes. Because this application returns only text and not the camera image, we can't be sure what the problem is. However, we can have a look at the executed Halkin code with hdevelop on our laptop. When writing our application, we enabled and configured the remote debugging with this code. Now, we go to Execute, Attach to Process. Here, we have to specify the name or IP address of the device where the application is running, as well as the port. For security, you can also set a password to protect your intellectual property. Thus, you can access an HDEV Engine application from anywhere in the world. To debug this procedure, let's set a breakpoint. This stops the execution, and we get the current state of the application. Then, we can step through the program line by line and have a look at the individual operators and parameters, like the image acquired by the camera, for example. As you can see, this really is a live image from the camera of the Raspberry Pi. After the next step, you can see the segmented regions. Those small additional holes are probably the reason for the faulty results. Let's save this image for fixing the code on our laptop. For debugging a real application, you would, of course, probably want to save multiple images. Having saved this image, we stop the debugging and resume the execution of the application. Now, let's have a look at this application locally on our development laptop. The first procedure initializes the image acquisition using the file interface here on Windows. Then, the second procedure is the same one we just saw while debugging. Let's try and optimize these segmented regions. First, we use opening circle to open these interfering holes. Then with closing circle, we close those small gaps. Now, when computing the number of pips with connect and holes, the number is correct. All we have to do now is transfer this adapted procedure back to our Raspberry Pi. Thus, we copy it from our laptop to the Raspberry Pi using the remote desktop connection. Then we can restart our application. Note that it is not necessary to recompile the application when using HDEV Engine. Now the correct number of pips is returned. This concludes this short introduction to debugging applications using HDEV Engine. Thank you for watching.